deep in the harsh desert environment of New Mexico's Harmon Deus Ranch lives one of the most sought after trophy animals in all of the West, the desert bighorn sheep. Hayden Casson is a 10 year old hunter who has drawn the rare youth only desert bighorn sheep tag. Joined by his father, Chad Casson, and his extended family, including his mother, little brother, and grandfather and uncle, Hayden sets out in search of his desert bighorn ram. Two thousand and fifteen was no different than any other year in the Casson family, where we put in for as many species as possible and as many states as possible. And with the help of Hunt and Fools stats and and, and drawing odds, uh, helps us put in in different areas in different states. Well, this year, uh, my wife Jessica and my son Hayden were lucky enough to draw probably the most sought after game animal tag in the West, and they each drew a coveted desert bighorn sheep tag here in our home state of New Mexico. So throughout the summer, uh, my wife and my father-in-law Dennis Nosker and my uh, wife's uncle Jim McCoy made several scouting trips to both locations. We went to the Hatchets and scouted for my wife, and we also came out here to the Armanderas and scouted for my son, which was a unique experience because this is something that we may never get to do again. Uh, to hunt not only one desert sheep, but two desert bighorn sheep in the same year. So in a way, we were kind of spoiled. Well, we're up here on the top of the Fra Cristobal Mountains at the highest point. We're getting ready to go out to a place called Gold Mine. It's on the north end here to look for some sheep. We'll hot-footed out over this ridge, probably 45 minute hike into a place like I said called Gold Mine. It's kind of a kind of a neat red dirt bowl. There's actually an old gold mine there and uh, there were some sheep there three weeks ago. It's a lot of country up here. There's lots of sheep. The last survey they did up here a few weeks ago, they counted 226. Found some pretty decent sheep, nothing nothing too big, but uh, I don't know, we got a 10 year old here. I think anything would be just fine. Oh, and I got a bunch of sheep spotted. And there's a ram, there's two rams, there's three rams and four rams. You can see them right now moving. They're moving up that header. Beautiful day, um, and to, to start it off with four four nice sheep, I think we're doing pretty good on the morning of the first day. So it's it's going to be up to Hayden whether he wants to shoot one of these sheep or not. We're going to try to keep them in a certain certain level of of class, but ultimately it's his hunt. If he wants to if he wants to drop one, we're going to go ahead and let him do it. It's a really neat, uh, a neat time. It's a great time to be out here with the family and hunting probably the most sought after game animal in the West. Well, we've been here at the Armanderas Ranch for this morning. Uh, we're here at, on the top of Mine Canyon. We've been looking at a couple herds of sheep and one, one might have been 160, but we're not real sure they're about 800 yards. There's skyline up there on the top of the hill up there and then this other herd down here just had ewes and maybe one little ram. We don't know. Um, so we're gonna keep trying to look for some sheep and hopefully pick up something and big enough to shoot. The two herds continue to move off away from Hayden's position so the family decides not to give chase and heads back to camp to call it a day.
It's day two on a once in a lifetime youth only hunt for desert bighorn sheep for 10 year old Hayden Casson. He and his family have decided to hunt the west side of a mountain his father had previously scouted. Hayden's grandfather and uncle go ahead of the ATV and successfully find a few head of ram and radio for Hayden and the rest to take a closer look. What do we got? Might have found your sheep, Hayden. Hey. Head up there on the hill. Yeah. Pretty nice couple of rams, looks like. You want to let your mom and dad look at them first? And, sure. And you guys can look at them through the spot and scope? Yeah, I can see him, Hayden. Broomed a little bit on his right, but he's definitely older than the other ram in there. Has a, has a darker coat on it. Real dark, dark chocolate brown. Yeah, he's a good looking sheep. He is. Yeah. Let yeah, me know. You I think, think we should go make a sock. You want to go make a sock and go yeah, look at him? Look at him yeah. yeah, go get your ears and we'll get the backpack and we'll get the we'll get the rifle and we'll we'll head out. Okay. As Hayden and his mom and dad begin to stalk on the dark chocolate ram, his brother, uncle, and grandfather stay behind to keep a close eye on the herd of desert bighorn sheep. Man, you see those rocks up here at the end of the header? We're gonna get to those rocks, okay? I'm gonna take a look, see where they are, check them over. If you wanna look them over, that's fine. We'll get you set up. And like I said, I think they're gonna be within a couple hundred yards and we'll just check them out and go from there. All right, so no talking, it's gonna be real quiet, easing up there, up there to them, okay? All right, let's do it. He's an old dark ram, though. I'm not sure. He's the one on the left. He's a nice sheep. He's a nice sheep. See him on the right side of the rock? Is he the one on the very left? He's on the right side of the rock now. See him? Yeah. Okay. Is he on the yeah, very he's on the very furthest left. one to the left. Is he eating? Huh? Yes. Is he eating? Yes. Hurry up. I'm going to take him. Okay. Desert bighorn sheep, you just dropped him. Yeah! You just dropped him. Awesome. Good job. Good job, yeah, buddy. buddy. Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 Woohoo! Awesome, dude. Good job. Proud of you. That is so awesome. Awesome. It's awesome. Well, let's get packed up and go get him. All right. Oh, oh man. What do you okay. think? 
He's as big as he's gonna get. <laughs> hey, dude. This is awesome. Right here. Good job. Right here. Awesome. There's not a lot of 10 year olds that have a desert bighorn sheep. No, there's not a lot of people who have a desert bighorn sheep. That is awesome. 200 yards, you just thumped him. Nice, dark. Chocolate. Chocolate ram. We'd like to thank the. No. Department of Game and Fish, the state of New Mexico, and I'd like to thank the. Uh, the Hunting Fool magazines for getting out here and filming this for us. And I'm just so blessed to have this opportunity to come hunt a desert bighorn sheep. So we'd like to thank Hunting Fool. Thanks again for giving my son the opportunity to come out here and hunt this awesome sheep. Uh, the Armanderas Ranch, uh, in conjunction with Game and Fish, provided this opportunity and we appreciate it. Uh, can't say thanks enough, but we're just proud of you, Hayden. very next day, Aiden's grandfather uses his vast knowledge as a butcher to properly cape the ram to ensure the taxidermist has everything to make an extraordinary mount for Hayden. Seven and four eighths. Okay, it looks like he is going to be a rough score of 144 and five eighths. All right, way to go, dude. Way, Way to go, dude. Way to go. All right. Yeah. That evening, the and family feasted on the meat, harvested from Hayden's ethical and extraordinary bounty. Good sheep. Mm -hmm. That's some good sheep right there. Hayden, this is really good desert sheep, buddy. Mm -hmm. Real deal. Mm -hmm. That looks just Desert big corn sheep with green chili. That's a combination right there. And the final great experience of this once in a lifetime adventure is to have the ram tagged and certified by the New Mexico Game and Fish Department. All right, buddy, I need your signature. Right there. All right. It's an extremely special moment when father and son get to share an experience such as this. The pride that Hayden's father feels after this experience is immeasurable. And for Hayden, that was just as much a reward as a desert bighorn sheep he was able to harvest. Together with the help of Huntful, Chad and Hayden now have a memory they'll look back on for the rest of their lives.